Six months ago, I started using a letter-sized Rocketbook Orbit to complement my executive flip notebook. The Orbit is Rocketbook's reusable alternative to legal pad clipboards, which works with Pilot's friction pens and the company's app to simplify the digitization and organization of your physical notes. For more details on the system as a whole, check out my Everything Rocketbook playlist. The Orbit is composed of two components, the rigid textured clipboard featuring a pen holder and magnetic dock, which interfaces with the second component, the Orbit page packs. And thanks to the team at Rocketbook, two weeks ago I received a sample of each of the nine different page packs that are available. So in this video, I want to take a closer look at these page packs and all of the different templates that they offer. Each pack is composed of 20 double-sided synthetic polyester composite pages, which provides a very smooth gel-like texture when you write with Pilot's friction line of water-soluble pens, the only writing utensils officially supported by the Rocketbook system. This allows for 40 pages worth of notes, an improvement over the standard Rocketbook core and flip notebooks, which only have 32 or 36 pages depending on the notebook size. The page packs come in the same letter and executive sizes as the company's many other notebooks, and also feature a similar high contrast black bezel around the edge to improve page recognition when scanning. They also feature the standard Rocketbook footer composed of a QR code and seven destination icons which work together with the app to expedite archiving your scans to the cloud destination of your choice. The top of each page includes a faint title and date block, which can be used to auto-title your uploads if you enable smart titles within the Rocketbook app's handwriting recognition settings. And within the top bezel, there's also a faint but reflective Rocketbook logo centered on the page, as well as either a crescent moon or sun in the top right corner to indicate whether you're looking at the front or back side of the page pack. But the most distinct way in which the page packs depart from the standard Rocketbook notebooks is their binding. In place of the traditional plastic coil, which was prone to breaking at the tips, the Orbit page packs opt for two polished metallic cylinders, which snap comfortably into the raised magnetic dock on the Orbit clipboard. And though the page packs do lift slightly where they meet the dock, the offset provided by the thicker top bezel and the title block provides enough of a gap that the page flattens out before the note taking space. This space below the page header is what varies depending on which page pack you opt for, with Rocketbook offering nine different versions to choose from so far. Each Rocketbook orbit comes with the lined and dot grid page included probably the best option because it's the most versatile of all the packs, offering a faint 7mm line pattern on one side of the page and the standard 8mm dot grid on the other, similar to the flip notebooks. These are nice because you can quickly transition from structured dot grid notes, which are excellent for sketching out reasonably proportioned designs, to traditional line paper simply by flipping the page pack over. But if you would prefer only one of these patterns on both sides, they also offer fully lined or fully dot grid page packs as well. Alternatively, you could pick up the blank page pack, which is completely empty aside from the title and date block at the top and the destination footer at the bottom. These are perfect for unconstrained drawings or even structuring your own templates, something I'm always an advocate of. Otherwise, if you want more structure than the faint pattern of the 8mm dot grid pages, you can opt for the 6.5mm graph page pack, which features the same solid horizontal lines and dashed vertical lines as the Rocketbook Matrix notebook. Here the graph pattern is darker and will appear in the final scans, providing a great template for class notes that include figures and plots. However, the visible pattern may interfere with the transcription of your notes if you use the optical character recognition features in the Rocketbook app something I go into more detail about in my review of the Rocketbook Matrix notebook. As a bonus though, this template does include a legend at the bottom corner of the page in case you need to assign a scale to each of the graph blocks, making this pack ideal for designers. An even more discipline specific page pack is the Music Staff page, which showcases eight five-line staffs on each page separated by a small gap, which you can easily transform into a grand staff. I can see this page pack being quite popular, both for learning music theory and for composition. Then we have the Cornell page pack, one of my personal favorites. It includes the standard Cornell three-section division with a line space for cues or comments in a thin left panel, 
a larger section for notes on the right, and a small five-line box at the bottom for your summary. I really like using these for meetings because it allows me to prepare the key talking points or questions in the queue section ahead of time, then fill out the notes section during the meeting and reflect on the outcomes or the resulting action items in the summary square. But you could also use these for class notes in the traditional Cornell method of documenting the lecture in the notes section, then reducing the notes concisely in the cues column before summarizing each page in one or two sentences at the bottom, though I would recommend going with the letter-sized orbit to give yourself more room if you're going to be doing this for class notes. The final two page packs are combination packs, featuring a fully lined page on one side and either a weekly or daily agenda on the other. Taking a look at the weekly agenda first, the page is divided into seven sections six of which are half of a page wide and either six or seven lines tall, depending on whether you opt for the executive or letter notebook, followed by a full width notes section at the bottom of the page. This allows for planning out a full week on one page with room for some future events or notes to self at the bottom. It's worth noting that like the other page packs, this template is repeated on all of the pages within the pack, which means you have 20 weekly agendas on one side of the page, paired with 20 line pages on the back side. While this may seem nice because you get nearly half of a year's worth of agenda in a single page pack, my experiences with page staining from leaving friction ink on the pages for longer than a few weeks makes me lean towards the daily planner page pack instead. Here, each daily planner takes up a whole page, allowing for more details to be captured, featuring an 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. hourly schedule on the left side, along with separate morning and evening planning sections in case your tasks fall outside of the traditional workday. Then, on the right side, the page is divided between a tasks section with several pre-configured checkboxes and a small general notes section. And again, on the back side, it's a fully lined page. I rely heavily on my agenda to guide me through the day, so between this and the weekly planner, and accounting for my ink ghosting concerns, I would personally opt for the daily planner. While I really like the Orbit interchangeable page pack system, there are a few minor drawbacks that are worth noting. First, while the metallic binding is superior to the traditional plastic coil in many ways, it isn't nearly as easy to interchange pages between page packs which is something that I usually do by uncoiling my Rocketbook Flip. Ideally, I would like to be able to combine a few of the dotted and line pages with about two weeks worth of agenda pages and mix in some Cornell notes for good measure. I'm sure I could pry the metallic cylinders open to do this, but it isn't nearly as easy as it used to be. Having said this, the page pack system was designed so that you can quickly clip pages in and out of the magnetic dock of your orbit, so you can always carry multiple page packs with you and change them on the fly. This means that you need to store these additional page packs while you're on the go, requiring you to use the orbit capsule, which can store one or two additional page packs in the front pouch, but I find this capsule a little too bulky for my workflow. Rocketbook is looking into alternative solutions for this, including an accordion-style container that they featured on the Axis Kickstarter page. And my final nitpick I'll point out is that you have to disconnect the page pack from the Orbit clipboard in order to fully flip the page over. This isn't a big deal for me, but it's a concern that will be addressed by the upcoming Rocketbook Axis notebook, which features sidebound page packs that can fully flip when the notebook is opened. Aside from these minor issues, I think the Orbit page pack system is pretty neat, and in my brief time with the different packs, it's been nice to quickly jump between templates using the magnetic dock. If you're already a fan of the Rocketbook system and you're looking to expand your collection, it's probably worth taking a second look at the Orbit because the economics are a little more compelling as well. A standard Rocketbook core or flip notebook will run you $32 to $34 depending on which size you opt for. And while the Orbit with its line and dot grid page pack is a little more expensive at $40 to $45, each of the additional page packs only costs $18 to $20. So if you're going to buy two notebooks, you'd actually be better off buying one Orbit and an extra page pack. Plus, a replacement page pack is significantly cheaper than a new notebook, even though you get more pages. And you can also save a little bit extra using the promo code that Rocketbook has been nice enough to offer to my viewers, which I'll leave in the description below. But what do you think? 
Are the orbit swappable page packs the ones that you'd want to see, or are there other templates that you're still hoping for? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.